Aloha. Welcome to Keys to Success, which is live on the Think Tech live streaming network series weekly on Thursdays at 11 a.m. We are your hosts. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. And I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. Welcome to today's show. The goal of this show is to provide professional and personal development tools and profound insights on how to achieve success in life, career, and or business. Sal Sorbera, Vice President of DAT, Digital Alarm Technology, was our guest on our last show, and his words of wisdom can be accessed on Newman Consulting Services' website, newmanconsultingservices.com, or our landing page, danelia.org. We are just three days away from Christmas and 10 days away from 2017. It's especially a privilege to be living in Hawaii during this holiday time. Hawaii is special because of the energy that is here. We call it aloha. It is a spirit that is unique to these islands that you cannot find anywhere else. This is what brings people back year after year on vacation. Of course, with the new year comes new year resolutions. And our show today is focused on how to create the life you want. Joining us today on Skype as our honored guest is Dolores Presley, international keynote motivational speaker and executive life coach. Thank you for joining us today, Dolores. Hi, I'm Dolores. Dolores, share with our viewers, if you will, you know, what prompted you to get into the business, I mean, the work that you're doing right now, and what was a pivoting moment? Well, John, I think I was a born teacher. I really was. I taught elementary school for 27 years. People did not know that. And I had a business 26 of those years. And I was a full-time speaker. But yet I was still a full-time teacher. And I just love helping people really live the life that God created them to live. So I started that with being an elementary school teacher. Then one day I woke up and told my husband I want to be a professional model. And <laughs> those days, it was not heard of big girls being a model uh -huh. and I was a big girl but hey I said that I can model like they're doing in California uh -huh. so I started a modeling agency for wow. plus-size women in Canton Ohio and then moved across the country to Chicago uh, Washington DC I took this beauty pageant and still I was working full-time wow. as an elementary school teacher mm -hmm. so no one better ever tell me they can't live their dreams because yes you can yes, oh you can. wow that's, that's fabulous wonderful. and helping people People is the key to life. The more people you help, the more things you get in life. Yeah. And I think that was said by Zig Ziglar, one yeah. of our favorite uh, mo uh, motivational speakers. Yes. Yes. You've been interviewed on every major network, including Entertainment Tonight and Oprah. What counsel can you give our viewers and listeners regarding keys to success and the steps to creating the life that you want? Well, first of all, you have to believe. It's your mindset. Mm. If you don't believe that you can be successful, then you won't. I have people all the time telling me, I'll say, you can live your dreams. They're like, no, I don't have finances. I'm like, stop it, because there are all kinds of places you can get finance. You can go to angel networks. You can do some crowdfunding. You can do whatever you want. And then I'll have people say, oh, I can't do it because I'm, I'm older. I'm like, stop it. <laughs> I, listen, you can achieve that. The dreams do not come with age limits. Mm -hmm. So you can still live your dreams. So I just believe that if I could just wave a magic wand and everyone was always in a positive mindset mm -hmm. and really living the life that they were created to live, then that to me is true success. Oh, wow. It's amazing how many blocks we put up, isn't it? We, there's oh. always, you know, instead of thinking about what can I do, we're thinking about what can't I do, <laughs> right? Well, automatically go to that. Yeah. I think sometimes when you try to tell someone or you'll give them a compliment, especially women, we're so guilty oh, of that. Yeah. Oh, your dress is nice. Oh, yeah. this old thing, you know. Yeah. And it's funny with men, John, and all the <laughs> men who watch. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember this one guy, he had got off the stage and he he really didn't do a great job speaking, but when he came off the stage, you would have thought he gave the best speech of his life. He's like, I rocked it. <laughs> and so, this attitude that we need to keep all the time, rock it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. And Danielle, you know, we have a, we have a, a school, a educational, vocational school, and we teach that stop that stinking thinking. You know, don't make an excuse, you know, attitude is everything. And 
if you feel you can do it, go out and do it. Yeah. And don't yes. let the naysayers, I call it the peanut gallery. You know, don't listen to the peanut gallery. <laughs> toxic people, toxic people. Yeah, that's right. I, have a, okay. I have a literal stop sign, John and Danelia. I have the stop sign. So when you start doing what you just said, that stinking thinking, and sometimes you may not have a literal stop sign. You've heard me say stop it already. I've been saying that. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you need to just put your hand up and say yeah. stop it. Yeah. Um, literally say it out loud, stop yes. it. But that gives your mind time to shift mm. back to the positive instead of the negative. Oh, yeah. It's interesting because I do that exact same thing. I will stop and I will say it out loud, stop it. And then somebody will go, did you say something? <laughs> and I say, yeah, I told myself to stop stinking thinking. <laughs> we have to. We have yeah. To. All right. Dolores, please, uh, what does success mean to you? And uh, when did you consider yourself being successful? Well, I think success is an individual thing, but I believe success is living a content life, uh, living a happy life, yeah. living a life that God has created you to live. Mm -hmm. Then I feel that that's success. And everyone each day should do something that helps them feel that they have achieved success. Mm -hmm. Maybe you need to set some goals, mm -hmm. but everyone. I mean, everyone under the sound of my voice can achieve success. You were born for success. Mm -hmm. And I've had people say, oh, no, I wasn't born okay. for success. I never had any success. I'm like, I'm talking to you. Yeah. You are alive. <laughs> That's right. And successful. So true. You know, one of the things we say to people is, if money was not an option, because the, one of the biggest blocks people put up is, I don't have the money, I don't have the money. Well, you know, if you keep saying I don't have the money, you won't have any money, you know. So if money was not an option, if, if I gave you a million dollars right now, what would you do with it? What, what would you, how would you live your life? What would you do with it? And when you come up with that scenario, now you yeah. know what your dream is, mm -hmm. you know? That's very, that's very, very good. Yeah. When you were saying that, I was thinking to myself, okay, Dolores, you are a success and you know if money never if I just had millions and millions and millions yeah. I of course would give some away but I basically would still be living the life that yes. I'm living now because I do believe I'm living on my purpose and once you yes. understand your purpose and you're living your purpose you don't work a day in your life I mean yeah. I'm here working when I really would like to be out to celebrating the holiday yeah. but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do but I love what I do yeah. and, and joy joy and happiness is the key to life. I don't care how much money you have or how many assets that you have. If you're not happy, you you're not you're not living. You know, uh, you have to feel alive. And what you just said that you enjoy doing what you do, that's a blessing. Yes, and yes. you know, John and I feel the same way you do. You know, we're just we're just really yes. happy with our lives. We're happy where we are, and we 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 strive for many 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 years and we reach the point now where we're just really happy at the you know what we're doing right now you know it's great and what a great feeling to be in that place you know and everyone can be in that place that's the beauty of it yes they can yes so what do you what in your opinion what uh, do you feel are the qualities and skills necessary to to succeed well, I first think that you have to really um, be positive. I've talked mm -hmm. about that already. I think that you need to be courageous. Mm -hmm. I think that you need to take risks. Believe me, I have taken yeah. so many risks when I started that modeling agency yeah. for plus size women over 30 oh, yeah. years ago. That was a huge risk. Absolutely. And you have to be bold. Yeah. You have to be prepared. Mm. A lot of times people are prepared. And get a strategic plan. I work with a lot of people, and I have one client right now. She's a president of a company, but she really feels her life is meant to start a nonprofit for children mm. who uh, have music abilities. Mm -hmm. So live the life that you were created to live. Yes. So um, how does someone overcome fear of the unknown in their quest for success? Overcome fear. First of all, there are going to be challenges in your life. Fear is 
stands for, and we've all heard this before, it's not original from me, but the false evidence appearing real, okay. the majority of things that we worry about, they never even come to fruition. Mm -hmm. So you know it's a natural feeling. We need to have some fear because otherwise babies, they don't really realize fear. That's the thing with babies. But us, as you grow older, you know you have to have some fear because you can't just stick your hand under and fire. Yes. So it's a natural feeling. Yes. Mm -hmm. Actually, say you need to deal with the fear right then, recognize it's your fear, own your fear, and find out a way to come up with to get over the fear. Yeah, very and, important. And on that same note, you know, the fear of uh, the unknown, how do you push through that? Well, I push through a lot of challenges, John. I've had so many challenges. People say that I'm so successful, but believe me, I have had challenges. Life happens, and I want everyone to know that, that life happens, and there are times when things are not going to go right. Mm -hmm. There are times when you're going to feel like you failed. I mean, I've done that over and over. There was a time when they told me my husband was going to die in a year. Wow. I mean, and that's been like 30 years ago. He's yeah. doing oh, fine. Wow. 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 Oh, we could have, like just fall on the floor and yeah. believe what the doctors were saying to us. Life happens, but you have the power. And I'm very, I, I'm spiritual. I believe in God. Mm -hmm. So I use my faith to overcome mm -hmm. some of these tragedies and mm -hmm. things that happen. But it's going to happen. But learn from the tragedy. And there is good inside bad. Mm -hmm. People keep think that it's not, but there's something in that bad that you can bring out of that mm -hmm. to make it good. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Wonderful. Well, we're going to take a short break. This is Keys to Success on the Think Tech live streaming network series. We're talking with Dolores Presley, international keynote motivational speaker and executive life coach. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. -E and I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. We'll be returning in a minute, so please stay tuned for more Keys to Success. Aloha, my name is John Waihe, and I used to be a part of all the things that you might be angry at. I served in government here and may have made decisions that affects you. So I want to invite you in. I want to invite you in to Talk Story with me and some very special guests every other Monday here at Talk Story with John Waihe. Come on in, join us, express your opinion, learn more about your state, and then do something about it. Aloha. Welcome back. This is Keys to Success on the Think Tech live streaming network series. We encourage you to call our hotline at 415-871-2474 to join our conversation or tweet us at ThinkTechHI if you have any questions or comments. We've been talking with Dolores Presley, international keynote motivational speaker and executive life coach. I'm Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. -E and I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. Welcome back to the show. And welcome back, Dolores. Now, Thank you for having me. <laughs> all righty. I know we, we were talking about uh, pushing through challenges. And there's one, one more thing I'd like to ask you uh, uh, as far as pushing through challenges. Uh, how do you push through the most challenging times that you really have? And we all have them, like you said, life happens. It absolutely does. Now, I have a, a jar. It's called Believe in the Power of You. I'm always telling people, you have the power, live in your power. Mm. So in this jar, and they can find that at my website, DoloresPresley.com, but in this jar, it's, it's a place where you have a little sticky note. You put all of your achievements in there, like I just got an award from President Obama. Oh, my God. <laughs> we want to talk yeah. about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Congratulations, Dolores. Okay. That's incredible. But, but finish the jaw story first, okay? <laughs> yes. So what you do is just write down all your achievements. Like I've been interviewed on your show today. That's an achievement. Yeah. I put that in my jar. Mm -hmm. And we constantly put that in our jar. And even you can put things like in your office. You might put something great about Danelia in her jar. Mm -hmm. And on those days when you feel all down and you're like, why am I doing this every day? Then you pull out the jar and you see what you've done to help others. Wow. One time there was a lady who was going to commit suicide. Saw something on Facebook that I wrote. I had fallen and hurt myself, but I still 
still had a positive attitude. So of course I put that in the jar. So those kind of things, when you see all of your past successes, mm. they can fuel your future success. Mm. I oh, love wow. that. What oh. a great, great tip. So, so don't you move. Tell us about that award from President Obama. Uh, yes. <laughs> President Obama selects several people throughout the country to honor them for working in their community. Mm -hmm. And just this past September, I don't have it right here with me, but it's such a, I got to put a picture of it on my website. Oh, yes, I, you do. I, you don't have it? With <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> Shame I, on you. I'm behind. So, it, but yeah, I got Oprah on my website, but anyway, I don't yeah. have um, <laughs> But it really is for just helping your community. I believe we were created to serve. And if we're not serving, I don't know if we're truly living the life that we were created. So just I've helped a lot of people, and I love yes. serving. And I got an award for it. That's so. oh, fantastic. Wow. Congratulations. Well, what, what, Congratulations. A, what an honor to meet him and to spend time with him. That's fantastic. All right. But yes, congratulations again. We, we have a signature question that we ask all of our guests. And we're going to ask you if we, if you, if we may. Uh, Share with us your three top success habits. Mm, first of all, wake up grateful. Mm -hmm. I wake up every morning and I'm so grateful. Mm -hmm. I compliment people. I think helping others is a success habit that we all need to have. Mm -hmm. um, reading inspirational things, I think that's a great success habit. Mm -hmm. Also having a coach. I have several coaches. I have a life coach. Mm -hmm. I have a business coach. I have a branding coach. Mm -hmm. So if you will just do those things, I, I just being grateful, it mm -hmm. is successful. Mm -hmm. The other thing is follow through. We've all heard fortune, your fortune is in your follow through. Mm. So if you're not following through, and I've done that before, I remember Jack Canfield gave me his cell phone on the back of his card and I didn't call him. I oh. called him later, but I didn't really call right then. Mm. And the reason I did that is because I kind of had Jack Canfield on this big pedestal yes. and there's Dolores. Now that's not the case anymore. Yes, yes. But back then it was. So make sure you're following up, yeah. being grateful, mm -hmm. doing something to help others. Mm -hmm. If you do those types of things, you will achieve success. All right. Thank you. So and number three. Hold yeah. it. She's still going. I think I think she did three. That was one and two. Yeah. She, I think that, you want me to give you a couple bonuses? Yeah, yeah give, give me a bonus. bonus. <laughs> because, because I slept through two. <laughs> <laughs> Number three. Also, What's number three? Put those strategies together. Have a plan. Okay. Because if you don't, many people say, um, if you don't, you you always have a plan. You're planning to fail if you don't if you don't really know what it is. Mm -hmm. But it's it's the end of the year. What are you doing right now to make sure that 2017 is the best year of your life? I hope that you're strategizing with that. That's what I do with a lot of people. Just mm. help them to stay on track and do what they would like to do mm. and live the life they love. Yes. Thank you so much. What is your motto or advice that you live by? Align your heart with your will. Mm. Your heart is so important. Yes. When you touch people's hearts, that's when you really are making a difference in this world. Many people who are entrepreneurs, they always want to touch the mind. They are just like, if I can just get into the mind of my client, but it's more than that. When you get into the heart of your, your client, when you're living with your heart, mm -hmm. Then that's when people really do business with you. That's people mm -hmm. say, how do you get all these clients? Mm -hmm. How do you do all that? Because I'm concerned about the person's heart, mm -hmm. about their true life. I'm concerned about my heart. Am I doing everything that I can to help others? Am I doing everything with my heart? Mm -hmm. That's good. But mm -hmm. when you touch the heart of your clients, mm -hmm. shoot, you'll never go a day without a client. And yeah. what, what Daniel and I teach in our school is that in order for you to speak to the heart, you have to come from the heart. Mm -hmm. And what mm -hmm. you're saying is so powerful. And that's exactly what we do. When someone feels you, you know, you can feel. Yeah. You might forget my name, but you will always remember how you felt when you were around me or when you spoke with me. And that's the key. Yes, we've, we've been blessed because we've had uh, business clients for 18, 20 years. And uh, we truly believe it's because of the relationship and because they know that we're always coming from the heart and they come from the heart too. And, and it's just, you know, forming a real bond and relationship. And, and that is exactly what you said is so critical to business too, not only personally, but professionally. 
Yeah. Yes, and I can feel, I'm not just saying this, but I can feel your heart for both Thank of you. you. We can feel <laughs> yours too. Yeah. It's really true. It's like it makes a difference. I yes. do lots of interviews, but yes. I can truly feel you. your, your aura of amazing, positive, successful. Oh, thank thank you. you. We feel the same with you. And, we, and we're thank looking you. forward to having you come over to grace this aloha yeah. here in Hawaii. Yes, yes. Over there, yeah. I've been doing these marvelous masterpiece masterminds, uh -huh. reach experience. I just did it in Punta Cana. I did it with a group in St. Louis. But I, that's going on my vision board. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> the, the mastermind over in Hawaii. Yes. That's that's going on there. Go and you know what? Those visions. And let me just real quickly. I know, no, but vision is so important. How I wanted to be on Oprah, and I put a picture of me. I cut it out and a picture of her on my vision board and how yes. I spoke it. And then you know, before you knew it, I was on the show with her. Yeah. Oh, that's so. Yeah. So. Fantastic. You know, we have a vision board too. And we teach that as well. You have to have a vision board. And when you look at our vision board, a lot of what's on there we have like achieved, you know. So we've just been talking with each other that we've got to, you know, set another vi do another vision board that has more of what we want for our future. And our, our son, uh, we, we were doing vision boards for years, you know, and we let him put his visions up there too. And uh, he walked into the room one day and he said, Mom, Dad, uh, we need to change our vision board. And we said, well, why is that? He says, because we have everything that we have on our vision board. And we looked at wow. each other and said, how powerful was that? Yeah. That yeah. little mind understood. Yeah. And we went out and started a new vision board, and that's what we constantly do, yeah. change our yeah. vision board. And if, if parents would understand to do vision boards with their children, so it's a family thing, the children really get that and they will pursue that for the rest of their lives and that that's when they achieve everything they want in their life it is powerful yeah. okay how do you maintain motivation and inspiration despite uh obstacles and uh pushbacks or setbacks Dolores? I definitely read constantly. I am constantly reading. That motivates me. I also am very particular on who's in my circle. Mm -hmm. That keeps me motivated. Mm -hmm. Because if you are around someone who's negative, I had a friend like that. He was negative. I said, listen, you cannot be in my inner circle if you're going to be negative. So definitely that is one way that I stay motivated. I mentioned a coach, my coach, and I also had a mastermind group where it's a group of us who are in business uh, usually a little bit different in business but we support each other so we'll meet oh, they're all over the country just meet through Skype or some meta, um, medium like that and then they support me I support them and just stay around people mm. who want the best right. for you right mm. absolutely all right. so what's the most valuable lesson you've learned at this stage in your life and career Mm, most valuable lesson that this too shall pass mm. if you're having a challenge don't let that bother you as I said earlier life happens yeah. and another thing that I I really um, believe in is if you do what you love the money will come yes. now I know if we're in business we want to have business and 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 that's important but don't focus on that Focus on the service, giving the best service, giving the best product you can, and before you know it, you are singing in money. Yeah. <laughs> it works that way. It's but okay. if you're so hard thinking about all of the dollars, now please don't get me wrong because if you're in business, you are supposed to yeah. make money, not that. But I just yeah. believe when you do what you love, the money will come. Oh, it's so right. true. So true. Mm -hmm. You have to believe. You just have to you know, believe and give it your all and give it that love and just know that it's coming and it will. Yes. And what do you feel uh, is the best way to create long-term success? Relationships. Mm -hmm. Building relationships. I think relationships are everything. People who say that they're overnight success and they've done it, they've done it by themselves, I truly don't believe that. Mm -hmm. Because I know that you, you need help. Mm -hmm. And building relationships, if you build the right relationships, and it's just like what they've built LinkedIn on, you know, with mm -hmm. seven degrees from whoever you're trying to get to. Yes. That, to me, will help you building relationships. Over 
overnight success, yeah, it took me about, what, 20 years to be an overnight yeah, success? Yeah, we understand. <laughs> and, and, and we're we still, understand. We're still in the process of being. <laughs> being is the key. Okay. Uh, it's and, so funny when, when, when people see uh, what they feel, somebody who they feel is successful, they say, <coughs> well, they're, they're so lucky. But, you know, luck is what opportunity meets, I mean, preparation meets opportunity. I mean, you've been preparing for years. To, ha to get the luck, right? I mean, that's just the way it is. You just have to keep believing. And the most important thing is never, ever, ever, ever give up. Never give up. Never no, give up. Don't, 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 don't. Okay. Now, is there anything else that you are looking to achieve? Mm, yes, I'm starting a nonprofit for women Fantastic. called, it's actually for young girls, it's mm -hmm. called She Elevates. Mm. See, you're never too old. I'm 60 That's and I'm right. starting something new. All you right? said you're 35, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's a nonprofit and I want, because I never got a chance when I grew up, my parents basically said, get a good job, Dolores, you know, yeah. get married, uh, you know, let them take care of you or work yeah. in the factory. And I did not want that. Yeah. So I birthed, she elevates so that young girls will know all about entrepreneurship. They yeah. will know how to start a business. They will get funding for starting their business. They could be ages eight to 18 and get funding. And then they're going to shadow other women mm -hmm. and uh, really know how to grow a business. Cause mm -hmm. I think I was an entrepreneur at heart, but I went to school and college and that's great i'm not knocking that because that's mm -hmm. really good for everyone who wants a career but i want to teach young girls how to build successful businesses oh, that's great that's great wonderful. you know i started i my, i i haven't told you this but i started uh, in teaching as well i used to teach high school did you yes oh, wow. and then oh, i met john in australia and we moved to the united states and uh, you know, just like yourself, we're using that whole teaching to do it on a larger scale, you know? And so where you start is not where you end up. No, no. It's so good. I mean, I love teaching. I'm still a teacher. Oh. I'm just a glorified teacher. When I'm up there on stage, I'm still teaching. Once a teacher, always a teacher. So true. Can you believe the time has gone so quickly? Um, we'll have to wrap it up. Dolores Presley's words of wisdom with regards to keys to success can be found on Newman Consulting Services webpage, newmanconsultingservices.com and landing page, danilia.org. Thank you so much, Dolores, for joining us today and sharing your insights on your keys to success. John, would you like to share your quote of the day? Yes, I would. Our quote for today is from Eleanor Roosevelt. And she says, no one could make you feel inferior without your consent. Think, Think Tech shows will be back next Thursday at 11 a.m. So please tune in and tell your friends to tune in as well. I'm Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. -E and I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. And we'd like to thank you all and wish you all a Merry Christmas and a very happy and prosperous New Year. We like to say aloha. Aloha, Dolores. Aloha. There you go. Thank you so much, Dolores, again. It was such a pleasure. We wish you and your family a very happy Christmas and happy, uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year as well.